we should clarify you don't own the company anymore. No. Uh, tell don't. just briefly what happened. Uh, it's and you're still out there and still associated with it. You're like the ambassador, is that right? Is that how it works? Well, the company ended up getting sold. Right. Uh, Jerry and I struggled to keep it independent, uh, but the company was public at the time, and uh, you know the way the Security and Exchange Commission laws work is that it, if some other entity is yeah. offering a very high price for the stock, the board of directors is compelled to to sell it. Uh, so despite our best efforts, the company did get sold. It's no longer owned by us. It's owned by uh, Unilever, and uh, we are technically employees of the company. You touched on it, that the current business law required you to sell out when you got an offer. Um, what might have changed that? So, so one of uh, the changes that's been happening is the uh, beginning of what's known as B corporations, yeah. benefit corporations. And those are corporations that are now chartered in probably 30 states around the country and in countries all over the world as well. And when companies voluntarily decide to become a B Corp, they say that part of their purpose is public benefit. They are not simply about return to their shareholders. And it is this wildly growing movement. Yeah. Uh, it is amazingly popular. So if Ben and Jerry's had been a B Corp back then, you could have resisted the buyout? You know, I think it's probably one of the steps we could have looked at. It's pretty hard to go back and say, what could right. we have done? But uh, we, we certainly did not succeed in yeah. staying independent. Mm -hmm.